following takes place between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. Chloe, it's Jack. I found the bomb, but I can't get the code to disarm it. What does the bomb look like? It's small, yellow, with wires. It's a bomb, Chloe! I'm doing the best that I can, Jack. Is there a number at the bottom? Yes, but it's too large to fit in the code. Jack, you need to convert it into the scientific notation. Dang it, Chloe, we don't have time for this! It's the only way! Fine, I'm sending you the numbers now. Uh, the computers are down from the nuclear jelly spill. You'll have to do it by hand. Wait, grape or strawberry? Dang it, Chloe, 60 seconds! The number is 725 million. Write down the number. Wait, I need something to write with. I need to talk. It's my old national security. Now move the decimal to the left until you only have one digit to the left of the decimal point. Now count the number of places you had to move the decimal. Okay, eight. Now multiply the number you got first by tenths to the eighth power. Seven point two five times ten to the eighth power. Got it. Five seconds, Jack! Enter it now! I'm going as fast as I can! Whoa. Oh, shit! <laughs> and now, back to Cooking for Dummies with Rachel Ray. A show for dummies by dummies. Hello, and welcome back. First, cut the cheese, I mean, slice the cheese, you know what I mean, into one centimeter squares. Centimeters? A centimeter is a commonly used unit for measuring distance from one place to another. Use a metric ruler with centimeters to mark off the cheese. Be sure to use a non-toxic marker. had a grandmother who used cheese on everything. Cheese on sandwiches, cheese on noodles, cheese on bread, cheese on cheesecake, pancakes with cheese, two eggs over cheesy. Now prepare a one half meter long um, closed umbrella. Meter! A meter is equal to 100 centimeters. To measure your umbrella, use a meter stick and line it up with the end. Remember, baking is an exact science, so be precise. Now measure 40 milliliters of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. A milliliter is one thousandth of a liter, which is the standard unit for measuring volume or the amount of space occupied in 3D. It should be even with the 100 milliliter line on the graduated cylinder and measure at the bottom of the meniscus. Meniscus? <sighs> the meniscus is a lot less scary than it sounds. It is where the surface of the liquid bends due to cohesion and adhesion forces and causes the liquid to bend, like so. When a liquid meets a solid object, such as the glass or plastic of a graduated cylinder, surface tension and adhesion forces pull the liquid up towards the sides of the container. Now add the one centimeter squares of cheese. Next, pour it evenly along the umbrella. Now measure out one kilogram of muffin by mass. Mass! Which is the amount of matter in an object. 
How much matter is in this muffin? Is it a hundred? It's not. Is it a hundred and fifty? It's not, but we're getting closer. Is it a hundred and ninety? Ooh, even closer. Is it 195? Almost there. 196? Yes, it is. Yay. It is. Now we know the muffin weighs 53 grams. Now place the whole concoction in the oven preheated to 120 degrees Celsius. Cel Celsius is a way to measure temperature or heat intensity. Uh, it, is it is measured using a thermometer. Groovy! prepared meal thanks to the metric system. Mmm, and remember, a healthy and delicious meal is never more than 30 minutes away. What time is it? Laura, have you finished your bio homework yet? It's 11 p.m. No, I fell asleep. Um, wait, no, I finished, and I understand it too. Thanks, House MD, 24, The Office, and some random cooking show. And Pilar lives happily ever after and got an A plus in bio. Even I'll be there for you. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Brittany, the part of the show where Brittany comes out and sings a silly song. One day, while talking with Dr. Carrie Fizzino, Brittany confronts one of her deepest fears. If my graph ever left my house, packed a bag, and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see. That'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. Alrighty. If my graph said, adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating! If my graph moved to the den, left a mess, and took my pen, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad? That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? That'd Fascinating! So what you're saying is if your graph left you, that'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad? That'd be too bad. Why? Because I love my graph. Brittany, what do you see here? It looks like a graph. And what about this? A graph. This? Okay. It's a graph, it's a graph, it's a graph, 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 it's a graph, it's a graph, it's a graph, 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 it's a graph, it's a graph, it's a graph, 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 graph. Brittany, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my graph out in the cold and it turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, it turned blue. What could you do? Oh, it turned blue. I see. On the day I made my graph, I had to chart the lonely path. It had trees. They made me sneeze. My, my. It had trees. They made you sneeze. It had trees. Oh! Ten days after I turned eight, got my chart stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. And I just stood until the science farm came and broke the knob with a crowbar and, this, and I had to spend the next six weeks in a graph rehab with this chart named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the y-axis and they couldn't even inform each other until the six week because both of their charts were so crooked and when he did start informing he also spoke Polish and now I know like three words are full so now Oscar taught me the word for graph USTA! Your friends all laughed? USTA! How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young it turned blue, what could I do? It had trees and made me 
sneeze, my friends all laughed. Usta! I'm confused. I love my graph! <laughs> Uh, Brittany, Brittany, wait, Brittany, Brittany, that's about enough, thank you. This has been Silly Songs with Brittany. Tune in next week when we hear Brittany say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my table? Oh, look at the time! <laughs>